So guys, good evening or good morning, depending on when you're watching this. Um, I'm recording this while watching the Paraguay versus El Salvador matchup at CONCACAF Gold Cups W. And it's 1-0. And unless Paraguay scores 8 goals. Actually, unless they have a, an 8 goal plus minus. So they need to score 11 goals. Odds are the setup will set look like this. We would have Canada in first place. Followed by Brazil in second. Mexico third. United States fourth. Colombia sixth. Fifth. Argentina currently sitting at six. As it stands, Paraguay would go to six and Argentina will go down to seventh. And then we're looking at the goal difference uh, fiasco, which might come down to casting lots or flipping a coin as both Puerto Rico as well as Costa Rica are sitting on three goals. On negative two goal difference with two goals scored and three goals and four goals conceded. And I believe the same amount of yellow cards. Which means in terms of matchups, we would be looking at Canada versus the coin flip of either Costa Rica or Puerto Rico. Brazil versus Argentina, nice South American derby. Mexico versus Paraguay, and then the United States versus Colombia. Now, what have we learned so far? I mean, I just watched Canada's game earlier, and I don't think they should ever switch off of a back three. I think when you go to back four, it's easier to press that. You don't have as much space to move forward. You don't have the outlets really presenting themselves. And if and if players can only play in a back four. Find players who can excel in the back three so that you can keep the same type of momentum moving. If you decide to try to switch things up and go back to the back four, unless you have a squad that can switch through it while defending with specific triggers, I don't think there's much value to having players who can't play in a back three. If that's the case, find the players who can. Can has a plethora of center backs, but also has a plethora of midfielders and young players who are chomping at the bit to show their worth so we might as well just let it flow and go from it from that perspective so we have our teams and our group set up so again as it stands we are projecting a canna versus either the coin toss of paraguay and puerto rico brazil versus argentina mexico versus paraguay and then United States versus Colombia. Guys, which of those four matchups are enticing for you? Reminder that the games do start on Tuesday. I'm sorry, on Saturday. My bad. Saturday is when the games begin. Sunday. They begin on Sunday. Sunday is the day the games begin with Canada versus that. And then you would then have next up. The 4-5 matchup, which would be the U.S. versus Colombia. And I do wonder if Colombia can do enough now where they can bother the U.S. and get away with a victory and really challenge them there. Then you have the 2-7 matchup, which would be Brazil versus Argentina. And then Mexico versus Paraguay to round it out. Guys, let me know in the comments which matchup are you most excited for. And also, if you were supporting any of these teams, who are the players that you have been impressed by? Who are the players who have stood out? Guys, let us know in the comments down below. And we'll wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Hope you enjoyed that. And we will talk again a little bit next week. Till then, goodbye for now.